Santa knows where all the best toys are. And this December, many of the hottest smartphones are just a penny with service at Appalachian Wireless. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless to check out all of the great smartphone deals that consistently top the nice lists. Oh, oh, this Christmas is truly going to be bigger and better than ever. Better service, bigger savings, that is. Ho, 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 ho. That's today's Appalachian Wireless! City and community leaders gather today in downtown Pikeville for the official ribbon cutting on the York House. For the last several months, the historic home has undergone significant restoration work. As the building opens, it already has its first planned tenant, a biblical archaeological exhibit which takes up residence in early 2017. Exhibit that's coming in right now. Uh, this is the type of thing we want as far as bringing more culture in. Uh, Who's to say we're not going to be able to use it for all kinds of different things? So I can, I can foresee wedding receptions here. I can see uh, business meetings here. Uh, you've got little separate rooms that you could break off and have different meetings. Uh, it's going to be a multi-purpose unit, but I, I foresee that this, with this uh, exhibit from the university coming in from Israel and all that, I think that's kind of, kind of where we would like to, for it to go, but it, will, it should be available for other uses as well. Family descendant of the York House, Rick Johnson, says the home is important to the landscape of Pikeville, and he is pleased with how the restoration has turned out. It's, uh, you know, we, this has turned out better than I could have hoped that it's been restored. I think it's important because of its age and significance. Well, it's probably the oldest house in Pikeville still standing from that era that I know of anyway. And, uh, it was, uh, it was one of the few I know of that was standing at the time of the hatfield McCoy feud. Curators will be working at the York House over the next several weeks, and the archaeological exhibit will be open to the public on January 20th. Reporting from Pikeville, for EKB News, I'm Jackson Latta.